Hey, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. Today is our first blog hop day. Woo! For the Loves in the Air stamp of approval collection. We are going to make a card today using some embossing, some resist, some ink blending, maybe a little bit of water, and some die cutting. So we're gonna use the flowers from the World Awaits stamp set, the Love Die, and I'll pull in something something or two from here. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is stamp flowers. I pulled all the little flowers that I wanted out of that World of White stamp set. I have my Versamark ink pad here and I'm just gonna start filling in the background. So I want my flowers stamped pretty closely together and when you stamp in Versamark, it's a little tricky to see. So I'll probably just stamp a few grab my embossing powder, pour it on, tap it off. Because once it has the embossing powder on it, it's way easier to see. So I'll probably do this method and cover the entire background. So I have my watercolor cardstock completely covered with these fun flowers. And now, uh, well, <laughs> stamped with first mark and covered in white embossing powder. And so now my next step is to use my heat tool. I'm gonna heat it, the embossing powder will melt, and then it'll turn shiny and I know it's done. Okay, so my embossing is done and I decided to cut it out with my stitched rectangle die, which is part of the postage stamp die. I'm also cutting out love out of the center. So, I'm gonna do a little die um, inlaid die cutting technique here. I've separated out the love and the little pieces that go inside the letters. Now, this is gonna be the tricky part. I wanna save these because I want to lay them back inside and I want them to be colored the same as a background. So I'm taking this out, I'm setting this aside. This is gonna stay white. Actually, I'm thinking about it, it probably would be easier to do my sponging and coloring on the love, but I am going to be difficult today. <laughs> I want the color to be on here. So I'm gonna make this uh, hard on myself. <laughs> I'm starting with It's a Girl, and I'm just gonna start off of my cardstock, and I'm gonna sponge color onto the card. And the white embossing resists the ink and stays white. Okay, so we have pink. Next, we're gonna move to Tiara. Actually, before I do that, let's see. So this piece came from in there, so this is gonna be pink. Next up is Tiara. Okay, so where the O is, <laughs> which pieces are the O? This piece and this piece. So those are gonna be yellow also. Next color up is Aquatini. And then we're getting a nice rainbow effect here, obviously, because when the colors blend together, you see pink to yellow, there's a little bit of orange in there, and then Aquatini, Tiara to Aquatini, we've got a little uh, bit of green going on in there. All right, so then we have the other pieces of the E, and that'll be easy, Aquatini. Now to finish up here, we're gonna use a little bit of pixie dust. The next step is adhering. So I'm grabbing my liquid glue. Just gonna add it to the back. I've taken a piece of our midnight cardstock and I ran it through the big shot with the largest postage stamp die. Now when doing something like this, make sure you get all these little nooks and crannies because you don't want those pieces pulling up on your card front. I'm just gonna add some liquid glue into here and that is where my die cut is going to be laid back in for the inlaid die cutting technique. I'm gonna use my quick stick tool to pick this up and place it right down. And that's it. 
that actually was not as tedious as I thought it was gonna be, so I'm pretty pumped. I'm gonna use my Spectrum Sparkle Pen and I'm just gonna color the love. So we'll have a little extra sparkle just on the die cut word. I can see some little bits. I didn't get enough glue in there, so I'm just gonna lift this up, stick some glue right on the back of that die cut, lay it down, push it in with my quick stick tool and that should be good. And to finish the card off, I just did You Always on a black strip. I embossed it in white on black. And then on the back, since we have these new stamps in the Happiness Enclosed, this, <laughs> the Happiness Enclosed stamp set, I'm going to do a little stamping on the back. And let's do a pink heart in the, or a pink flower in the center, which coordinates with the front. Now a recap of the products we used. We used the World Awaits stamp set, the Love Die, Love is in the Air stamp set, the Happiness Awaits stamp set, and the Booster stamp dies. And then I look back at some other cards I made. This one used the doodly little border, which is super fun, and the continents in the back. So I used chocolate cardstock and the ink is icing on the cake and I just did some really small hearts on the border. Just a cute little accent. I did this one on Facebook Live the other day and here is one you guys haven't seen yet. So the doodle borders and then the hugs love kisses with the fun little arrow and the heart in the middle. So if you're on YouTube, be sure to head over to katherinepooler.com slash blog. Also have links in the description below because you'll see all of these photos. There'll be links to the other uh, release days and uh, hello, the blog hop. <laughs> uh, make sure you comment on all the blogs to have your chance to win your stamp of approval collection. Thanks for being here, guys, and I'll see you soon.